Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm excited to tell you all about the 2018 Winnebago Mini 2106DS. This particular model is in the graphite interior. The reason I'm so excited is because Winnebago has listened to the customers complaining about their uh, Murphy bed and they have fixed it. So it's still not the prettiest thing in the world, but it is a huge improvement in looks and it is probably the simplest and easiest Murphy bed to set up. Uh, of course, the advantage of Murphy beds is the fact you get a couch and you have the same thing here. It's a very plush couch. You can see that right there and it's nice and easy to make up. Let me show you how. This couch is just a jackknife sofa. Lift it up and drop it down like so. And literally all you have to do is grab this handle. It's strut supported. You pull this down and there it is. Your bed is made. You don't have any folds. You don't have to worry about you know your sheets coming off, your blanket coming off. It stays made. It is super simple and easy. I love this Murphy bed. Uh, the bed is 54 by 74 inches, so about six inches shorter and narrower than your standard queen, but still a great size bed for a Murphy bed. And again, like I said, you don't have to mess with it, just super simple. You do have a shelf up top there still for a little bit of additional storage, as well as storage here on both sides. You can see you have a hanging rod in there in case you want to hang some clothes. There's all, there also is straps. Now, I mean, this will sit up on its own because it is, again, strut supported. But if you want to strap it up for safety, just to make sure, you know, struts don't fail and it falls and hits you or anything like that. Uh, there's a strap up top as well as down below. They do recommend right here that a bed should be in the down position for travel. Uh, obviously, you don't want it bouncing around if it does come unhooked. You'll also notice on both sides here, you know, why you have a couch. It kind of gives you a little armrest as well as end tables. Uh, at night, of course, when the bed is down, those are nightstands. You see electrical outlets on both sides there. And then uh, you also have the dual USB charging port in case you want to charge up your electronics. Windows on both sides of the bed and a vent up top. That way you have some excellent cross ventilation if you don't want to run the ducted AC. Take a quick look at the kitchen here. It's not a very big countertop, but they did do an excellent job of giving you great prep space. You'll see you have uh, two sink top covers on here as well as the cooktop cover. Both these sink top covers are cutting board quality, so you can flip them over, use them for cutting boards. When I take them off there, you will see you have the uh, double bowl stainless steel sink. If that's not quite enough, they also give you this guy right here. You can pop that up. So again, you do have good countertop space in this smaller RV. Uh, window right here to let in some natural light, and then you have the LED light right there up top. Let's take a quick look above that. You will see good extra pantry space up here. Also, this is pretty neat right here. They have all the trailer information, so if you're ever wondering uh, you know, what your weights and stuff are, it gives it to you right there. Something that Winnebago does that I like. It's just easy to find. Right over here is your microwave underneath, fully functional hood there with a the light and fan. Uh, as I mentioned, your cooktop here, lift off the cover, you do have a three burner Atwood cooktop. And this does fold right here in the center, so it's nice and easy, kind of doubles as a backsplash there too. Underneath your cooktop is your oven, in case you want to do some baking. Take a look underneath here, small storage area, nothing huge, but you know what? They didn't have to put anything there. They could have left it blank, so I'm glad they at least gave you something. Underneath the sink, you have a nice large uh, area there, which is great for a small trash can or your cleaning supplies. Next to that, you see you have two full extension ball bearing drawers. You'll notice right above that, you do have the electrical outlet there. And right underneath, you also have dual USB ports. If you want to plug in your electronics, you can have them charging there on the counter. Rounding out our kitchen is the fridge freezer combo. You can see that right there. You know, good space. You have a cutout there for some taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Right back here is the bathroom. And one of the things I love about Winnebago's, and I say this on uh, all my Winnebago videos, are the doors on here. You'll notice it's actually framed out in wood, not plastic like most. And look at that. It shuts nice and easy the way it should every time. It doesn't wiggle around in there. It doesn't pop open. You know, it's easy to close. And I know that sounds silly, but when you're out there shopping for RVs, play with the interior doors. You'll quickly see what I mean. But as we enter the bathroom, we can take a look in here. You'll see right here is your foot flush lever toilet. Great leg room all the way around there. Uh, right next to that is your sink top and vanity. A little bit of storage there underneath. And then up top, you have your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. 
Over to the side, take a look at this. You wanna talk about a, a great closet. You have extra wardrobe space there, some space up top for towels, a little bit of extra space down below there too. And then right over on the other side is the shower. Uh, it has a pretty neat shower door. You'll see that it is curved. Uh, so that way, you know, you get a little extra room in there. Hand wand as well as a skylight up top. But that is a good shower for uh, this size RV. Then you'll also see you have a robe hook right there too. So that way, you know, if uh, you want to hang your clothes up there, your towel, whatever, you have a place to do it. Right over here is the entertainment center. You can see the TV front and center. Uh, it's perfect whether you're sitting on this sofa right here or on the Murphy bed sofa. You have a good view to it either way. The thing I like about it here is you can lay down if you want. You know, lay down and still be able to watch the TV. Uh, but the Murphy bed is obviously the uh, preferable position or seat to be able to watch it. Right up top is your multimedia center. Radio, CD, and DVD player. Just pop a DVD in there. It is already hooked up to your TV. Over to the side, you'll see there you have a little bit of extra storage. Oh, this is Bluetooth capable, by the way, in case I didn't mention that. And then right down below, you have some additional storage right there. Right over here is the slide out in the 2106, and you have a slide out jackknife sofa. Now, this isn't a super deep slide out, but the reason I like that is because when this is closed up, you still have full access to the refrigerator as well as the bathroom. And if you're going on longer trips, that can be a huge advantage for you. Uh, also, if you want a place to eat, there is a table right back here. You can just pull that up and out as a nice little storage spot there. Indoor, outdoor table, so you can pop that out and you have a little table here. Uh, it does give you a spot to eat. And then if you want, you know, you can also lay down, watch TV, do whatever you want there. Big window to let in a lot of natural light. And then up top here, you'll see you have some additional storage. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features. We'll start right up front here with the power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up or disconnect from the tow vehicle with just the touch of a button. You'll also notice right underneath there, you have a light in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Uh, right behind that, this is where your dual propane tanks will go. It does come with two 20 pound tanks. And then right here, you will see the rails for your battery. Coming up the front here is black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Take a look at the pass-through here. Now, because of the Murphy bed they changed inside, they had to do some changes here as well. So basically, your pass-through got set back a little ways, but still nice, large uh, storage in here. Also, if you have some longer items, it did put some storage up front here as well. Big wide door on there too. So I definitely think it's worth the trade-off. You still have good storage, and that Murphy bed in there is awesome. Right underneath is a propane quick connect. So if you want a grill outside, you can take your grill, plug it in right there. It'll feed off your two 20 pound bottles rather than having to buy the small little green ones. While we're down here, a couple other things you will notice that right over here, this unit is a huck bolt frame rather than a welded frame. Uh, the advantage of huck bolt is that Usually when your frame rusts out, the first place it rusts is right at that welded seam. So by eliminating that, uh, it eliminates the chance for it to rust there. Also, if you ever do get in any kind of accident and there's damage, the huck bolt is a lot easier to repair than a welded frame is. And then right here are your stabilizer jacks. Of course, you have one on each corner. These are BAL stabilizer jacks, which are upgraded jacks. They take a fraction of the turns of your normal ones. So that way, as you're setting up or breaking down camp, you can do that a lot quicker so you can get on with your day and start enjoying camping. Right up top, here is the power awning. Just touch the button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. And you do have LED lights on there too. That way you don't have to hang up your own. Two steps to get into the coach. You'll see the first one there is nice and low. That way if you have bad knees, it's not hard to get in and out, especially with the foldable easy grab handle here. Coming back a little bit further, you can see the aluminum alloy rims. That way they won't rust out on you, less chance for corrosion, and they're also nitrogen filled so they will hold their pressure longer. Uh, right here is a backer for your TV. So if you want an outside TV, this is where your mount would go. Your hookups are right over here. That way you can set up camp underneath the awning, be able to watch a show. If you just want to listen to music, you can do that too because you do have dual outside speakers here. Those are controlled by that multimedia center I showed you inside, but again, it is Bluetooth capable. 
Come around to the back side, you will see that there is a rear mounted ladder. This is so you can get up onto the roof for any kind of maintenance. Uh, this is a, a big deal to have because that way, you know, it's not taking up your entire pass through and you'll definitely want to get up there at least once or twice a year. Another thing I want to touch on, you know, as we went through, you can see the shine and luster in this beautiful unit. That's because Winnebago has one of the best sidewalls in the industry. They use a T60 fiberglass with a true pore gel coat exterior. What that means for you is this will last you for years to come. It's a very similar process to which they make a bolt haul. And again, you can see that shine and luster here. You can buff this. It will keep that for the life of the coach. When you go up to a Winnebago, you can see your reflection, see how many other travel trailers you can do that in. And I promise there won't be very many. Right back here is your spare tire. You'll notice that's mounted on the bumper so it is easy to get to. It also has the cover to help protect it from the elements. On the off door side, real quick here, you'll notice a couple other things. Your uh, satellite and cable hook up there. Outside shower with both hot and cold access. Black tank flush to make washing out your black tank a lot easier. As well as detachable 30 amp power cord. Uh, last thing you'll notice, your slide out is right over here. And then up front there, uh, they also have ZAMP solar. So if you want solar on this, if you plan on doing some boondocking, all you have to do is buy the portable panels and it's a plug and play system. But all right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Winnebago Mini 2106DS. This one had the graphite interior and the new Murphy bed. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.